Hi there, this is today's video. I've got another unboxing draw video for you all. So in this video, I'm going to be opening the Sun and Moon Guardians Rising card. So hopefully, there'll be a shiny in this pack which I can then draw for you all. So let's open them and see what I got. So I'm just about to open the cards. Here they are. Can you see them? Let's open them. Beware. Is that called? Beware. Oh sorry if I get these names wrong. And the next one we've got. That's Lagu. Fletching Dinner. And then we've got Chansey. I know Chansey from the animated Pokemon which I used to watch. Chansey. Is that a Machop? Yep, yeah, Machop. So I also know this Pokemon from playing on the Game Boy games. Oh that one's really cute. Sandshrew. It's the Alone Sandshrew. I really love how this one looks. It's really cute. And what is it? Mukro. I know this Pokemon from playing on my 3DS on Pokemon Moon. Mukro. Then I have Helioptil. Don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm sorry if I'm not. Is that electric? Yeah, electric Pokemon. And what's this one? Oh, it's a shiny. Absol which is shiny but you can't really tell very much on the camera so that's a cool one we have oh that one's nice I really love this card it's so nice it's got such nice colours what's next? Oh, an energy I think I'll probably draw this one so let's go right ahead and start drawing this Pokemon please do thumbs up this video if you enjoy it and let's get started so I just wanted to say I've actually done a colour sheet for this drawing so if you want to join in and colour in with me then you can. It's in the description below the link to it. So yeah, I hope this is helpful and if it is let me know in the comments and I'll do more of these colour sheets for you all. I decided I wanted to create a really bright expressive background so I grabbed my masking fluid which is what this weird milky looking stuff is and I covered Comfy completely in it. It's basically like a rubbery kind of substance and it acts as a barrier so anywhere that you don't want the paint to go you put it down and then you peel it off when the paint's dry at the end. After the masking fluid had dried I had great fun creating watercolour splashes and patterns It's honestly so much fun, like I really recommend you just get some watercolours and throw them everywhere. Obviously put stuff down so you don't make a mess, but yeah it's great fun. I was just flicking the paint everywhere and I just did not care. I was like whoosh kabam, Ooh, take that paper. <laughs> After I had finished the blue splatter I added some iridescent paint speckles and I just flipped them onto the paper. So once the watercolour paint had dried, I then peeled off the masking fluid and it looks kind of gross, do you think? Or maybe it's satisfying to watch, like you know them satisfying YouTube videos, maybe it's satisfying? What do you think? Is it gross or satisfying? Leave me a comment below and let me know. <laughs> I'm kind of in between, I don't really know what it is. <laughs> After I peeled off the strange wizardy art fluid, I added some pencil colour to make the comfy design pop out from the paper. I felt really satisfying to neaten up the edges and just kind of make it all crisp. So with the marker pens, I first went in with a light green pro marker in the colour apple. And I just want to say actually, any brand will do, like you can use any colours, pens, crayons, anything you want, it doesn't matter, just art's all about having fun. This Pokemon will be pretty easy to colour because it's mostly blocked colours and so there isn't much shading involved. As you can see at the top I left it space and this is to add the lighter green to the top to make Comfy have more dimension. So the lighter green that I used for this top bit was called Meadow Green. I used the 
colour sandstone and for Comfy's ears I used a colour called lime green. And then drew some highlights with a white pencil to make Comfy look more 3D. Then I moved on to the first flower and block coloured it in red. yellow flower I used tulip yellow and I just black coloured it. So the flower colours are in the pattern red, yellow, pink and then white and it kind of just repeats. white flowers I decided to use my beautiful iridescent paint which I absolutely love. I also use this iridescent paint in the middle of all the other flowers except the white ones. And I just added more details into the shading and to the drawing. This artwork was so so cheerful to create and I think it's super happy. If you do decide to do the colour sheet, which I have put in the description below, please do tag me on Twitter and Instagram, I'll leave my username below. So it's Atalana Claire, and I'd love to see what you create. Also, don't forget to thumbs up this video, because that'd be so kind and awesome if you could. And yeah, leave me a comment if you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you all next time.